New Governor Augustus Jasper has not allowed himself to be drawn on the possibility of using his constitutional powers to support the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force as his predecessor John Duncan did to compel the government to fork out more money from the Treasury for the police. The key thing is that actually uh, the, the government here rightly needs to set the priorities. They have to balance off a whole host of different priorities that are there. Security for me is something that I think is a key priority, but the balance of all of the different needs that you have in running an effective um, public service. The Governor does come with a certain amount of powers. I'm vested by, uh, by Her Majesty with a certain set of powers and by the Constitution. In a way, I see those powers as powers on, on paper, in a way, I, and powers that uh, actually are more to enable a strong partnership uh, rather, than, rather than powers that I will daily be, be reaching for and, and grabbing uh, in, 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 in ways going forward. But, but obviously, in every issue, I'll be looking at, as I talked about, making sure that the right arrangements are in place and uh, supporting, questioning, challenging where appropriate uh, to make sure that things are in, in, uh, in, in a strong place with, with, the, um, with the government. The former governor declared before his departure that the United Kingdom will not entertain talks of independence unless progress is made on outstanding legislative matters such as access to information, whistleblowers legislation and a human rights commission. On the divisive topic of constitutional reform and removing some of the governor's powers in order to transfer them to the premier and his administration, Governor Jaspert says constitutional debates are appropriate, but he's more concerned with a partnership than powers. It's not really for me to say. I will have, um, you know, I will develop views, I'm sure, when I'm here, but actually the constitutional arrangements here, the right ones are those that fit what the people want here. At the moment, uh, in 2007, the people chose the constitutional arrangement, as it is now, with the powers, as you, as you point out, and um, it's when people want to change those constitutional powers and that there's a debate to be had there. But it's, it's very much uh, you know, a, a, a discussion that is more about uh, the right arrangements for what uh, the people of, of, of the Virgin Islands want. In a way, the priority for me is less about a binary debate about who has what power or who has exactly what responsibility, but a bigger debate about uh, how do we work together and how do we get the right partnership to take this territory forward, of which we all have slightly different powers, slightly different relationships and slightly different ability to influence. The last review of the BVI's constitution was done in 2007. Premier Dr. D. Orlando Smith has stated that the territory is now due for another. Issues such as autonomy and shrinking the powers and role of the governor have resurfaced, but there's no word yet from the Premier on when exactly the consultations will begin.